Hey Clashes, the clan war is about to start, but I want to use the max angry jelly in this clan war, so for that we have to max it. Overall the update was not the biggest, so a jamming video is, would be kind of pointless to be honest, like just jamming a couple of builders, right? So I have did, I've done that already, like th that was not really meant to be a video I guess, but we want to jam the angry jelly to then use it in the clan war, that is the idea over here. And if you want to actually boost your progress with offers, I highly recommend to you not using the offers from the in-game. Because on the, in the Supercell store, actually, the link is down below, the offers are way better. And on top of that, you can collect points on that website, which gives you even more rewards then. So overall, if you're about and thinking about spending money on the game, I would highly recommend using the Super store, uh, Supercell store instead, because it's just way more efficient. And if you would like to support the channel and would like to support your favorite content creator out there, make sure to use code ITSU if you want to support me. Big thank you from my side, but now let's get into getting the upgrades done. First off, we need to upgrade the pet house, right? Like, that's the first thing we should do. I have a ton of magic items packed to make sure that we can get a quick progression. Obviously, as well, the offers from the Supercell store. And all of those together then are the result is right here. I think at this point I can't even get rid of all of those hero books anymore because it's just too many. I guess I've bought a little bit too many of those hero book offers. But what I can do is get this new pet now maxed out so we can use it then in the clan war. For that, we have to get it from level 1 all the way up to level 10. And now the important thing for you is that this pet is already really useful from level 1 and on because the reason for that is that you're upgrading the base stats of this pet a lot of time which are not really that crucial it is all about the length and the the time for how long you can actually have your hero attacking defenses and on level one already it's like 25 seconds which is already a really long time so this already works with a level one pet but hey Obviously, level 10 is a little bit better for us, and that's why we want to unlock it as quickly as possible with collecting different items, making sure that I try to somehow optimize this with, like, well, magic items with the different things. And I think we still have some resources around, right? We should be able to collect some more resources from the clan council, from the treasury, exactly. We have still our collectors as well, and with that, we hopefully do not have to invest too many of those Dark Elixir runes, which we have stacked up, so we can save that then for the future, because Supercell has already announced that there is going to be, at some point, a new hero in the game, and obviously I would like to have that one as quickly then as possible, right, whenever that is going to come out. But for now, we're looking good, getting another upgrade in, and the last two level then, we can actually use the hammers to get that thing maxed out. And with that, we're done. Last level is accomplished, level 10 jelly. And now I think we should get ready for the clan war because the clan war starts soon. Clan war has started and it looks really, really good for us. So let's take a look at some bases and do some attacks. Every single attack is going to be a different strategy though to make things more interesting. But to start things off, we are starting things with my favorite current strategy, which is the multiple healer charge. On this one, what I'm going to do is I will use my warden to start over here. We want to take down all of those um, defensive buildings because we will use the jelly, obviously, on that warden. And as soon as the warden is going to target either the Inferno Tower or the Expo, we will use the fireball ability to take all of that out. As this is happening, we're going to use then the Flame Fling at the chop set with a new level to take down those defenses. We will tank this mortar with the Yeti to make sure that there is no damage on my, my Flame Flinger. And then we're going to play a Queen Charge into this with the King here. And then we have to take a look at if we even need anything else, army or hero-wise. Let's dive in and let's have hopefully a great first attack. Let's get that ready. So we have everything cooked up. We have obviously our... Nice max uh, new pet on our warden. And we're going to start things off with a warden walk on the far right side. Just like that. Four healers. I think four healers should be enough. And this is now another thing. Like you could just switch to ten healers if you want to. But I think overall four healers in most of those warden charges is enough. Because I have switched the unicorn away. And then used now the jelly instead. So this means we have less healing power on the warden. But four healers so far has worked great for me so let's hope that it's going to stay that way we have to make sure that we're paying attention to both sides because if the flingers go into the mortar we have to make sure that we're reacting where is that warden going by the way though Ooh, he is going exactly where we need him to go there goes the fireball and 
Let's, this is so satisfying. The warden effect is gone. We should place a wizard to make sure that the cleanup is going a little bit faster. Now the yeti to tank the martyr. Things are actually looking great, I think, so far. The only thing is I would like to take down the eagle. Luckily, there is no bitter close by, so the low hit points should stay that way for now. But let's get a maybe a rocket loon onto that. As soon as this thing is gone, the expo, I think we should be able to target it. Could we? I will test with one normal loon. Oh, that's already working. Maybe that's already fine as it is. Let's turn that. <sighs> that's a lot of damage. Let's turn that warden invisible. Let's rage him up just to make sure. Okay, there is now a sweeper against that, which is not optimal. But hey, should be all right. Let's use three rocket loons here. Take that out. Just like that. One more rocket loon. The wall break. And now we should make sure that we're starting really soon because time is ticking. Time is ticking indeed, but everything is working right now along each other, which is uh, kind of the key thing here, right? So I think that should be no problem that we actually take a little bit of time. Wait, where did my wizard... Wasn't there a wizard or something? I don't know. I thought that was a wizard. Could I still get that maybe down? That would be a... Oh, the black mine maybe helps. Not really. Another rocket loon. Let's go. I want to take this thing out. Come on. Another rocket loon. I will get this eventually, but I will, I will take this out. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, no. Yes, there we go. That's nice. Another wall break from the top side. We take our time. That we, we, We're not in rush. Oh, maybe the warden. Super dragon is cleaning things up. That's nice. Let's get two loons in here. Can we swag the royal champion? That's right now my main, my main question. Can we swag that? I'm not sure if I should do it, but I will just keep trying. I will just keep trying. The king is still there. I think we do not need the Royal Champion to start things off. That's already a solid start, I guess. Let's just put everything... We can't even swag it on our spells. Like, what is going on? I would just use them, to be honest. Um, because otherwise, I cannot just rebuild the army again. But hey, that's just the first attack. Looking really solid. And this strategy is just crazy how strong it is. And as I said already, I will for sure push with that thing. A little bit of legend. See if we can push it into the top 200. To make it appear in like the top strategy list of some of some websites where they're sharing what people have used within the top 200 global. That would be just so cool to get like a 9 healer charge into that list. Just imagine. But hey, that's a long road ahead of us and I will do some videos about that soon. But for now, let's dive into the next attack. I have to be honest, I just love the combination between the Warden and the Angry Jelly. This is why we're going to repeat that combination, but a different strategy. First things first, we're going to have the Warden walk down here, taking down that Archer Tower, then the Fireball onto this air defense to take down all of those buildings right here. The Warden should switch over here because he will have the Angry Jelly on him, which means 35 seconds because we just maxed it out. 35 seconds, he's only going to attack defense, so we cannot lure him to our... Uh, like main army which is going to be then super witches in from the far right side right into the base and hopefully completely obliterate the rest of the base that is the idea is that going to work that's a different question okay let's get this right let's get this started so we're starting things off with my warden just to take down the ash tower then the fireball and everything and we are hopefully looking really really good with that so just like that healers in Looking already really solid. Let's do now a test barbarian. Now the flame finger down there. And the cool thing about like the timer, because of this might be a big factor for a lot of people. Like when exactly is the warden going to stop to attack only defenses? That's like the nice thing with this. Uh, you can use the timer from the top. Like if you have placed the warden as the first troop, I still know like around 10 seconds I have left of this ability. Uh, only attacking defenses. So that's kind of nice to take that as an indicator, I guess. So, so far that's solid. Let's use the wall break here. Warden's now attacking everything. Let him, like, funnel a little bit. And then we're going to lure him over. Just like that. Super witches in here. The apprentice warden in here. Titan in there. King around the outside. Valkyrie for the funnel. And this already looks really solid. Wall break. We can use the headhunter on the outside. Ooh. That's maybe not optimal, but should be alright. Wall break. Let's use the King Ability so he's like quickly funneling everything. Flame Flinger doing amazing. We have to multitask at this point because... Um, let's first off place some stuff here. The reason why we have to multitask right now is because of the Mortar on the far left side. So as soon as the Flinger is done with this... with this, What is this? Scatter Shot? We need to be ready to react. So now the heal. Invisibility Tower should go off any second now. At least like both of them. That's... 
That's good. The ice goons are going to stall. Let's use this. We can use the royal champ on the outside to help. We can use the freeze whenever we want. I think at this point, I don't even know if we have to use it. Uh, but let's just, whatever. Invest what we have, right? Royal champion. Everything looks all right at this point. The, the flinger is not even getting into that range there. So, uh, yeah, it's not even needed. Let's just place some cleanup stuff here. And this base is comp- wait, wait a second. My queen just- oh, we have not paid attention to that- to that queen. Oh, uh, that's unlucky. Losing her in her ability because of the town of poison, I think it was. So, then using the royal champion ability, as soon as she's getting visible again, just like now. We have the troops coming out and that's going to be a completely wrecked base. There we go. Let's swag the freeze and stuff, but- that is going to be a nice 3 star, another 3 star for us, that's what we're looking for. I love this combination of the new pet with the warden in the fireball. It's just so, so ridiculous strong, it is crazy. And all of those strategies which are obviously benefiting from that, have become even stronger. It is really crazy and a lot of fun, but let's move on to another attack. And last but not least, we want to do a little bit more of a creative approach because this base is not the greatest, let's face it. So we want to do a bit more fancy stuff. And take a look at this middle part. There's even openings in this base. So we try to take advantage of that with, uh, well, placing some super wizards in this top opening to take down a lot of this base. Then as this is happening, we're going to send the flame flinger from the top side to take down all of those key defenses up here. And then we're going to have a warden charge in from this left side for the bomb tower. As soon as the bomb tower is going down, we can place then a fireball into this expo and take a look at that value. That is looking incredible. That should be amazing. And well, then the question is, do we even need any more heroes? Do we even need any more army and troop capacity? Let's give it a try and let's see if we completely obliterate the base. So this will be either an insane success or an insane fail. Let's see what exactly is going to happen. So first off, let's pick the correct siege machine. Um, I will try to trigger some traps and see if, well, we can load the clan castle. Let's do that. Oh, there's actually ice golem, okay. That's an ice golem coming out. Next step is going to be tank for the warden, just like that. And the fireball preparation, just like that as well. Okay, okay, looking good. We can place the Valkyrie with the poison. Warden staying alive, please. Yes, thank you. Then we can now concentrate on the on the rage here with the super wizards and stuff. So let's do that. Oh, we have to place the flame fingers. <gasps> did I deploy it right? Oh, okay, thank goodness. It did not like affect that. But hey, let's now get this right. Where's this? Okay, there's enough damage. Let's just rage that because I won't be able to concentrate on this one at all. Just like that, super wizards in there, rage it up. Three, four, turn that invisible. One, two, three, four, again, turn that again invisible. Okay, okay, looking good, looking... <gasps> the client cars are coming out, okay, looking good still. Let's freeze that, the single inferno tower. Okay, looking good, I think. Come on, we have to take... Wait, 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 warden, wait, 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 warden, 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 warden. You have to take down the inferno tower first, buddy. Please take down the Inferno Tower. That's your job right now. You have to take that out. Thank goodness. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. Now raise it up again. We have not deployed any other hero just yet. This is... I love it. This is crazy. Okay, what do we do next? Queen right here, I guess. We should have all of the bakeries. <laughs> we should have all of the bakeries. I love it. Um, I guess Barbarian King? What exactly can we still swag? Let's just place the Barbarian King, I guess. One dune should be enough, right? Because there's nothing else there. <laughs> no, the black mine! Wait, we just... I don't know what exactly I have to do here now. That cannon, how do I take down the cannon? Like this? Let's use the king of... There is even... This cannon is... Okay, my, my, my king did it. Okay, that's perfect. We have to wall break in here. We have to wall break in here. Thank you, at least this time it worked. We have still 50 cents. Oh my lord, that was just, that was perfect. And we have 12 bakeries still left. That is crazy, I love it. And the Royal Champ not even deployed yet. Like, this base was really, truly kind of shit, not gonna lie. But let's just put everything down here. Getting that 3 star. Oh my lord, that went beautifully. Oh my goodness, nice. Really, really nice attack. Well. Always check if you have some openings within your base because people could take advantage of that as I just did. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me uh, your 
opinion about the newest patch in Clash of Clans. Do you like it? Do you think it's kind of like not really fitting your playstyle maybe? Or is it actually fitting your playstyle? I have to say I love it because it has perfectly synergized with the Warden Charges and Warden Walks, which I have been doing over the last couple of weeks with the Fireball especially. It has really lot of synergies. And really important to note, you can play those as well even with the non-maxed Fireball. The only thing you have to do if you have it on level 20, um, you can already use it, just use two Earthquakes and you should be good to go. You can still do the same value, you just have to go for two Earthquakes instead. So remove maybe like the Freeze or an Invisibility or something from your army composition. And you should be good to go with skipping the last seven level of the Fireball if you want to. But if you want to have the full power, the full potential, you have to get it to level 27 overall. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.